Experiments and observational studies are two common approaches to research. An experiment involves manipulating one variable to see how it affects another, while an observational study involves collecting data without interfering with the subjects being studied. Both methods are valuable in research, but they serve different purposes and have unique advantages and limitations. Understanding their differences helps researchers choose the most appropriate approach for answering specific questions. Now let's look at the definition of an experiment. An experiment is a research method in which a scientist actively manipulates one or more variables to observe their effect on another variable. In a well-designed experiment, researchers assign subjects to different groups, often including a control group that does not receive the treatment and an experimental group that does. By controlling other factors and randomly assigning participants, experiments allow researchers to establish cause and effect relationships. This method is commonly used in fields such as medicine, psychology and chemistry, where precise testing conditions are necessary to determine the impact of specific factors. Now let's look at some pros and cons of experiments. One advantage of experiments is that they provide strong evidence for cause and effect relationships. Because researchers control the variables being studied, they can isolate specific factors and determine whether a change in one variable directly leads to a change in another. This makes experiments highly reliable for testing scientific theories and developing new treatments or technologies. However, a major limitation of experiments is that they may not always reflect real-world conditions. The controlled environments used in experiments can sometimes create artificial situations that do not accurately represent how variables interact outside the lab. Additionally, ethical concerns can arise when researchers want to test something that could potentially harm participants, limiting what can be studied experimentally. Now let's look at the definition of an observational study. An observational study is a research method in which scientists collect data by watching and analysing subjects without directly influencing them. Unlike experiments, observational studies do not involve assigning treatments or controlling variables. Instead, researchers observe natural behaviours, trends or events as they occur. This type of study is useful when experiments are not possible due to ethical, practical or financial reasons. Observational studies are commonly used in fields such as epidemiology, social sciences and environmental research, where scientists seek to understand patterns without altering the conditions being studied. Now let's look at some pros and cons of observational studies. One strength of observational studies is that they allow researchers to study real-world situations without interference. Since the subjects are not placed in artificial environments or assigned specific treatments, the results are often more applicable to everyday life. Observational studies are also valuable for studying long-term effects, such as tracking health trends over time, or examining how behaviours change naturally in a population. However, a drawback of observational studies is that they do not establish clear cause and effect relationships. Since researchers are not controlling variables, it is difficult to determine whether one factor directly causes another or if other hidden variables are influencing the results. Additionally, observational studies can sometimes be affected by biases, such as when researchers unintentionally focus on certain data points or when participants change their behaviour because they know they are being observed. 